Good morning. It's Monday morning, the start of a new vlog. I'm Karen Lebo. I sell stuff on Etsy and eBay. My Etsy seller name is Vintage Dazzle. And I also sell some artwork and art supplies in another shop called Kara Lennox. And the links for both of those are in the description. And this is my, it's turned out to be a weekly vlog where I show you what I list, what I sell, and other stuff that's going on in my life. And Today I did wear the Gibson Girl bun. I got such a, a huge response in the last video where I wore my hair this way. <laughs> to me, I mean, when I look at myself in the mirror with my hair like this, I look kind of like my grandmother, and it's a little scary. Uh, but anyway, at least it keeps it out of my face. Um, while it's growing out, I don't really know quite what to do with it, but um, it usually is just a big stringy mess, so at least this is tidy. So anyway, I'm going to show you uh, eight items that I listed over the weekend. Okay, so I'm going to start with the jewelry. Um, this bracelet, I think when I showed it to you in the haul video, I mentioned that I thought I had sold one exactly like it in the past. Well, it was almost exactly like it. It was silver instead of gold, silver colored, and it had um, a mesh uh, stripe on either side, and the clasp was a little different. Um, but that bracelet, it had the exact same engraved pattern. I mean, exactly identical. And that bracelet was a Hobe. So I'm guessing this is somehow unmarked Hobe, but I could be wrong. But that is my guess. I listed that for, I believe, 27 yes, $27. And uh, then this stretch bracelet kind of like a watch band, which makes sense because the maker is Maruman, M-A-R-U-M-A-N. Uh, in the haul video, I thought it was Hartman. It was a very tiny mark, but I finally figured out what it is. Almost everything I found when I did a search for Maruman was a watch band, but this is a bracelet. It has a little modernist design on it, and um, that I listed for 24 and then this is a Navajo sterling silver and turquoise money clip made by Jenny Black Goat, signed. Uh, not a terribly old piece, but it's, um, it's really nicely done. And uh, that I listed for 68 Oh, and by the way, all of my prices that I give you are free shipping, unless otherwise noted. Free U.S. shipping. And uh, this is just a cute enamel brooch with uh, purple, purple and pink lilacs is what that is. And um, that I listed for 21. It does have a little, a little bit of enamel loss, just like on the very edges of the flowers. It's not super obvious, but it is there. Uh, and then as for the non-jewelry items, listed this painted cast iron still bank. Uh, this was made by A.C. Williams, even though it's not marked. And uh, dates from around the 1920s. And I listed him for 98. Is that right? Yeah, 98. Uh, then I listed a couple of Swarovski pieces. Um, well, this one's all... Uh, there's no picture of it. This is the... Um, Woodpeckers. No. Yes. Woodpeckers. Um, this is an older one. I think it dates from 1989. I will slip in a picture so you can see it. Um, that one. Woodpeckers. Woodpeckers. Listed for 225 And then uh, this one is an elephant. This is the second elephant I've had like this to list. And uh, he listed for 160 and then the last piece I listed was, uh, is that a little stain on there? No, I guess not. Just a, I don't know, is that a stain? It looks kind of like a stain. Can't decide. It may just be a fold. Um, anyway, they listed this pretty little Chinese silk embroidery with the flower and the butterfly. And uh, that I listed for 29 and now I'm going to show you what I'm shipping off this morning. 
And here we have everything that I am shipping off today. Let's start with this antique Chinese storage jar, also heard it called an opium jar. And that uh, sold for 56. I love the look of these. Um, then let's see, we have, uh, this is a embroidered Mexican dress, sometimes called a Mexican wedding dress. It's a black one, which is kind of fun. Usually they're white. Um, and that, uh, sold for 58 plus $10 international shipping. And let's see what else we have. This little, uh, Japanese hand carved box, chip carved. Very sweet with the butterfly and the flower. I think it's Japanese. It, it wasn't marked, but the style looks Japanese. Um, let's see. That sold for 27 And then this Mexican tile. I have a whole bunch of these. You could buy from 1 to 12 This person bought one. <laughs> 19 $19 for that. Nice old one. Red wear. And we have a set of Swank mid-century cufflinks, the red stone. Those sold for uh, 18 and I think that may be plus shipping on those. And then we have a Christian Dior silk scarf, which you probably saw recently in the haul, or if you haven't seen it, you will see it soon. And um, that sold for 44 and I believe that is also plus international shipping of $10. It costs more than $10 to send, but since I give Americans a free shipping on lighter items, then I give international buyers a break on the shipping, so. Okay, that's it. Okay, so um, going through this garage box and I find that it's full of artwork. <laughs> these are, a lot of these are etchings. Well, I'll show you one. There's this one. It's upside down, but there you go. Um, these are a bunch of etchings that we got from Rob's dad that are actually worth quite a bit. They're this one artist that he took a shine to and bought a whole lot. Or did they come from your grandmother? My grandmother. Okay, they came from his grandmother. Um, some of these are things that I, oh boy, that's no good anymore, is it? <laughs> it's my, my print of Pinky. I think that needs to be just, I don't know what, donated? If anybody wants that, it's all yellowed. Oh, oh, this was, this was a print that you liked. That was something that belonged to you. Okay. Do you want it? You want me to sell it? I don't care. Yeah, you can sell it if you, if you want it. Okay. The problem is we don't have many walls in this house to hang things on. I guess we still have a big stairwell. But anyway, that's pretty much what's been in here. I'm going to have to look at all these. And then uh, we also found a, an air mattress, which we've replaced already because we couldn't find this one. And um, that back there is my nonfiction writing portfolio. <laughs> from, I've got clips from the early 1980s. <laughs> they still look pretty good. I'm amazed. All right, so that's the box for the day. Good morning. It is Super Tuesday. I have not voted yet. It kind of snuck up on me, so I have spent the morning figuring out who I'm going to vote for because there's like a million things to vote for in California, in LA County. Um, judges and police, sheriff, deputy, I don't know. There's so much stuff. So I have to figure out who all I'm going to vote for. And then we have some a city council race here and then a whole bunch of propositions, like about 20 different propositions for taxes and this and that. So it's all very complicated. And I wish I had voted earlier but I didn't so now I got to do it today uh, anyway so I'm going to show you uh, what I listed actually I only got them listed this morning uh, and but it is yesterday's listings and what I'm shipping off today okay so uh, this is the jewelry I listed this is a lovely 
hand carved shell cameo in a sterling silver canateal square setting. I think this is probably pretty old. It's not marked, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if this was Edwardian or even older. Um, and that I listed for 48. That's right. And then this is a Mexican silver with a Mayan warrior. It's really nice metal work. And it is signed TV02, which is an artist who is not identified. It is Tosco. And uh, that I listed for 39. And then I listed a couple more of these uh, Chinese silk embroidered panels for 29 each. <laughs> this one's got the little kitten on it. So cute. Okay, back in a flash. Okay, so here's what I'm shipping off today. Sorry about all the reflections. I don't know how to get rid of them. Um, these five items are going to one part. Um, this is a very cool hand-colored etching. I think it's hand-colored etching. Um, of a historic Greek scene. It's a very famous painting that the print has done after. Let's see. That print sold for $49. And then we have some jewelry. This is a blister pearl necklace that sold for $62. It's quite lovely. And then an amber necklace. The amber necklace sold for $24. And then these um, Native American lapis lazuli and sterling silver clip-on earrings. Those sold uh, for 42 And then this fun box that I just listed recently. Um, that box sold for 44 There's still another one available. The smaller one is still available. Uh, and then the last item, which went to a different buyer. I don't know how to show you this without reflections, but it's a really neat, very long, skinny, original um, pastel drawing in this wonderful frame. It's um, very 1920s. So cute. And uh, that sold for $62. Hi, good morning. It is Wednesday morning, and I would show you what I listed yesterday, but I didn't list anything yesterday. So breaking my own rules, but um, I will show you what I sold yesterday. So I have these eight uh, prints by Arthur Singer, done in the mid-century era, and I had somebody who just wanted six of the eight, so instead of $74, she paid $60 for six, and I will relist the two that she didn't buy. I'm not sure. Um, it was numbers, let's see, that's seven. Um, was numbers one and two that she already had. So, um, and then let's see. I sold this uh, adorable little cloisonne vase, and that sold for twenty nine dollars. And then this box, which for unknown reasons I priced at only sixteen dollars. Really neat hand carved box. I don't know why it was so cheap. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it is plus shipping at least. All right, that's it. Okay, it's another box. What could be in here? Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What's that? Uh, <laughs> is it? Is there something in there? Or is it really? It used to be AOL. AOL, AOL box. Sounds <laughs> like. And it sounds like it's got pennies in it or something. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, nice. Lord knows. Uh, let's see. This seems to be a bread bag full of something. Hope it, it looks like. Oh, it looks like some antique hardware in there. Oh, my God, it's... oh. it's coins. Yes. It looks like metal detected coins. That's what it looks like. Yeah, but at least one of them's a weedy. Oh yeah, and I see a, a mercury dime. Oh, nice. What am I going to do with these? Oh, Lord. Okay, let's see. We have flying machines, some um, paper airplanes. Spectacular, starry sky, create your own planetarium on your wall or ceiling. What the 
hell do I have that in here for? Uh, Scrabble. Um, some Christmas tags. Man, I must have really not been very selective when I packed this. Oh, this looks like more, this looks like probably my more ordinary metal detecting. This is a giant bag of coins. Uh, all right. This, I'm, oh God. This is also coins from my metal detecting days in a box that used to have uh, Yu-Gi-Oh trading cards in it. Those belong to my stepson. <laughs> oh my goodness, we have photographs. Oh wow. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's see what that is. Camera lens. Why do I have a camera lens? I think it's a real camera lens. Oh, I think it's Look through it and see stars, maybe? Oh. No? Maybe? I don't know. Huh. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, yes, you look through it and see stars. Oh, have fun. Can you show that to the camera? Kind of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are different. Um, I think that we should make a pile and take them to Thaddeus. Oh. Get them out of our house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. I don't know which yeah. of these things he might... Oh, well, I just had a ka -ching. The flying machines. Uh, the flying machines he might and like. And the, the uh, stars. The stars. Okay. Maybe he'd like Scrabble. Maybe he'd like Scrabble. I don't know. I don't... You know, Marion's trying to clear out her house. I don't want to junk her up too much. Christmas. What in the heck is in here? Some Christmas decorations and also some big wooden things. Oh, that might be, uh, yeah, that might be something interesting actually. It's that thing, you know, that thing that my sister made with the candles that you burn the candles and it goes around in a circle, like a little Christmas thing. I love that thing. Okay, let's see. We'll go through Christmas decorations later. Oh my gosh, these photos. Ah, okay, what's this? This is playing cards, I guess. Is it? What is it? Playing cards. Must be yours. Uh. <laughs> Picture of my husband with his ex-wife and his son. Old one. Oh dear. Yeah, I think. Um, most of these are going to be some old photos. Oh, what's that? This, oh, God. I just don't even want to think about all these old photos. They need to be gone through, but I don't want to do it. What's this? Oh, my dad. Who, who did this? Silver Springs? Robert Priest. <laughs> should take this to the drawing club. <laughs> oh, here's another one. Oh, look! Look how cute! Oh my god! And this says, my father. Aww. I think you should take this to the drawing club. <laughs> Okay, uh, I think probably everything else in here is just a, good lord, it's just a, there's some playing cards. <laughs> well, I think all the rest of this is photos. Ugh, yuck, yuck. All right. That'll be fun, we can, we can sit together tonight while we're having pizza and sort through pictures. Okay. Good morning, it is Thursday morning and Yes, my printer's making a lot of noise in the background. Um, aren't you done yet? Anyway, I have some exciting news to report. Uh, my assemblage piece has been accepted into an art show, so I'm going to have my first group gallery show, and it'll be at the end of this month. And um, 
I'll let you know more about it when I know more. So anyway, I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday and what I am shipping off today. Okay, first off we have this uh, group of, it's a four volume history book set from 1912. They're a little bit beat up, but the marbled covers are really pretty. And uh, I listed that set for 35. Um, this sterling silver ring, artisan made, I listed for 36. And this is a sterling silver necklace from Guatemala. It is, well, it's actually 900 silver, so it's almost sterling silver. And uh, it's made with the Niello process, which causes that black oxidation on the depressed portions of this and it's got a bird and some cross swords and a cross guns and a wreath and I, I'm guessing this is some kind of a official seal of Guatemala but it, it's nice engraving work and that I listed for 34 uh, I listed the remainder of the bird prints that did not sell these two did not sell so I listed those for 22 I listed the Swarovski Dragon for 150 and I think that's it. Here's what I'm getting ready to package up to ship off today. We sold these two necklaces to the same person. Nice big chunky gold beaded necklaces and those were $32 a piece. Uh, this one looks a lot like sterling silver but it is silver plated. Um, and we have these, um, this is a, a history book in three volumes, dated from 1906, and those sold for 35 And then finally we have this little green, Celadon green, rice eye bowl, made in China. Um, I think I managed to date this from the... 1960s to 1970s based on the mark. That's a nice little ball. Sold for 24. So I am down visiting my mother-in-law at her retirement home and um, this is a little display. They change it monthly and they usually uh, somebody who lives here will show off a collection that they have and I thought you might enjoy seeing some absolutely fabulous cane glass, uh, paperweights, Jane Pretzman's collections. Wow. Oh, look at that egg. Isn't that beautiful? So I didn't take any video. We had the rummage sale this morning. I bought a few things. Wasn't as, didn't buy as much as usual. Oh, look how cute. Unicorn and horses. Oh, that's cute. Horses. Oh, look at that. That's a nice one. Nice. So, this is the place where she lives. Isn't this nice? And we're all back at that back table. Way in the back. Hi, it's Saturday morning. I um, only have that very brief bit of footage from our trip down to visit uh, Rob's mother, Sally, because I just didn't shoot very much. But it was very fun. We got to meet our great nephew for the first time. And uh, that's part of the reason I didn't shoot video is, you know, you can't do children in your videos anymore without a lot of, I don't know. So I didn't mess with it. But anyway, um, all the entire way home, our engine check engine light was on. We were just terrified we were going to have a breakdown in the middle of nowhere. But we didn't. We got home. So today I guess we got to take it in to get fixed and we did our grocery shopping this morning went out to breakfast and now I am getting ready to package up my one lonely order and yeah I, I have just a couple things that I listed I think on Thursday my listing has been really really anemic lately but anyway I'll show you those later so this is the one thing that I sold it's this uh, very cool old picture of a Soldier's Grove bottling works with a, a guy and a, a young, uh, I don't know, like a 12-year-old boy 
standing in the doorway and all these crates stacked up and it's in this beautifully carved Victorian frame. And I will tell you how much that sold for in just a minute because I've already forgotten. I think it was $42. Yeah, sorry, $49.